Hello, Glitch Reaper here. Oh gosh, yeah, since the way things used to spread out before. Uh, yeah, a lot of things have changed, even just the terrain rendering. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm back, re-exploring my own world, and this is one of those locations that I had to wander around quite a bit to find where it went. This is what I used to call Baba Yaga's Brewery, and this was before I knew about the Witchery mod. Uh, actually, I got it from old classic folklore from Baba Yaga, being uh, the datus of 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 the of the cycles of like seasons, life and death, and a whole bunch of other things. But basically, she was like supposed to be like the ultimate witch. So I was thinking, what a better place to have my brewery than around here? And the thing is that uh, part of it is that uh, see, did I get my stuff out of there? No, not not yet. Anyhow. Uh, part of it is that I uh, looked around quite a bit for a witch hut, and eventually I did get a few. Now, they're not happening right now, but the idea is that I'd be able to move along the edge and strike at their feet, <laughs> pretty much, to farm them, and I'd be able to go in and out the door and stuff to grab their things. So this used to be an old-school witch farm before, in 1.7.10, they added the ability for witches to show up anywhere, so it wasn't quite as important anymore. Uh, because witches are always worth fantastic loot, including some things that you wouldn't normally get in the overworld. So it's actually quite important. Uh, things like, uh, yes, I'm aware that there's a zombie sneaking up on me. Uh, I might want to conserve that thing's durability and hit him with this. But yeah, the thing is that, uh, and remember my sound cannot work in this version, period. It seems to not like going this far back again. Uh, it, it's it's just like a thing. It, it 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 really is. But yeah, I have myself one of my old uh, melon and pumpkin farms. I got some wheat, got some uh, crops growing otherwise, like like potatoes and stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's just been interesting getting my way back here. This might dump off for other stuff too. Like, do I have? Uh, this is a few brewing supplies. Yeah, I think what happened is I may have transitioned versions or something, and I may have lost some of my progress, because I remember that I was going to build out a bit in another way, and I'm not seeing that much here. Well, I do have some potatoes I can bake. Do I have any coal to go with that, or do I need to charcoal it? Yeah, I've still got some other foods that, like these, so I don't have to worry too much. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, there we go. But yeah, the old idea I was going to do is I was going to... Well, I, I kind of built out with lily pads, interestingly. Uh, that whole awning was just so I could uh, lounge over there waiting for the witches to spawn. And it is partially uh, based on your difficulty level. So if you have it on hard, they'll spawn a lot faster. Uh, have it on easy, they'll spawn slower. It's just, just the classics with, with spawning rules. But yeah, I had myself a I have myself a nice uh, general wood farm over here that I can use, and you you can see a jungle looming in the background. Although that wasn't my first jungle, my first jungle was uh, closer to my first village. Uh, but yeah, around here I can get all the wood that I need, including of course if I need charcoal or something like that. So it w it was mainly just kind of a a multi-purpose base to uh, like farm witches and do other things. Uh, originally, I think at least one version I I had of this world, I had, like, I know I had a nether portal system set up, and I know that I had, oh, we have a guest, uh, but yeah, as I was going to say, I know that I had a nether portal system set up where I could do a nether jump. Yeah, old school witch farming for the win. Uh, must find witch hut, because again, back in those days, they hadn't really perfected them showing up everywhere. So it kind of made it where it was a little... Oh, wait, that's right. They, they nerfed healing potions at some point, so this might not be fast enough. Might have to go in and rush. Nope, nope, nope. They died. 
Oh, uh, that 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 one died. I I I got it. I got it. But yeah, this is the old school way of doing it because they had so many special drops, including some things that uh, were only renewable through beating them. Otherwise, in terms of the good renewability, not like really slow, <laughs> based on trades that might eventually, you know, like not be available for you anymore. But yeah, what I used to do was basically like I'm I'm doing here. I'd uh, whack some witches, I'd gather some ingredients, and then I'd be able to like brew up potions and stuff. Uh, I had like a triple set here for mass manufacture. So as you can see, I had myself set up pretty well, uh, at least in terms of like the classical sense. I mean, th this was vanilla, so you know, it, it's it's the way that that goes. And uh, it was before other things made things easier too, so. This was kind of like the old school way of doing it. You found a witch hut, you modified it so that you made sure that there was enough extra area around, and then you've uh, fought them off. Now this one isn't like an old optimized version even. It's just kind of convenient, like you make sure it's dark enough on the inside. And uh, back in these days, light wouldn't necessarily pass through slab uh, openings, even though it visually looked like it. Uh, but it wouldn't actually. So that that's kind of a, a thing that you had to take into account is the fact that this is actually better than it first looks because the light isn't actually tainting the area. Like you can tell it gets dark in here real fast and has at least a few spots of pretty much total darkness. Now the uh, door does decrease the speed but the whole point is I would just do things waiting around uh, and just hang out while they spawned and then I took them out, so it was kind of a different kind of convenience there. I, I I thought at least one of these I'd had a parking spot for my horse, but I guess this is still not where I parked my horse. It might be an ongoing thing. I might be trying to find where I parked my horse. Or horses, or something. Maybe I had that in another version that also got reverted? I don't know. But either way, it's kind of nice to just hang back in the old area. Uh, my original, pl uh, my original thing that I did, as I was saying before, is I was going to have an, as I had another link. I think maybe that may have reverted whenever I was swapping around files or something back in the old days, because I don't remember exactly what happened to it. Because I know I had one. I know, I know I had a another, another portal there, and that I would use it to go back to other areas for. Uh, like an extreme uh, nether jump, like I, I was thinking of, or I think I did, I'm pretty sure I did carve out the nether in that direction. Uh, let me check something real quick. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, thing is that I only have a limited set of pickaxes, but I can kind of show what the plan originally was or how I originally did things, because I did get some of my old obsidian. Uh, I did. I, I have some that I harvested from one of those uh, portals that keeps popping up back in the other area. Again, next to Monument Tree, there's a spot where it always would make me a new portal in that one area regardless. And this is like full version because it starts out as full portal. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, now I remember how I used to have it. I had it offset in the back and I had this building around it to contain these zombie pigmen. So that's how that was originally designed. So I'll kind of partially recreate the portal. It's always really convenient to create a portal whenever you uh, know that you're going to be able to hop off into the water. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> no fall damage because of that. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's see what it was like over in this area. Because I'm trying to remember was going to carve upward, because that was something I was definitely going to do. Oh, yeah, it is it's next to a, an area that I could move upwards. Yeah, okay, yeah, the, the original plan was to make a path and move through the nether, because my other nether gate, my primary one, is pretty close to zero, zero. So if I went up and I carved through, then I'd basically be there if if I got the right angle. Let's see which angle from that would be. See that'd be the wrong way that way. So 
so it'd be kind of that way-ish. Yeah, it'd be kind of that way-ish from here. Or I was trying to get down to zero, zero. So I, I could make a path. Yeah, I really remember how this terrain went, so I know that I must have had a reversion or something, because this is exactly how it looked like the last time that I initialized a portal there. I had like this little overhang of nether quartz and everything. It's almost exactly identical. Hmm, now there's a memory. Nice one, too. Yeah, same kind of drop-off and everything. Uh, yeah. This is just about exactly precisely like how it was the first round. So if I did that to complete it, and then came back in another episode, I could show what I was originally going to do with it. Uh, for right now, I'll kind of revert. Go in here. And I was originally going to build a building around that. Just a cobble building to seal them in. So that wasn't going to be too much of a biggie. Uh, one thing about... <laughs> uh, because time is... Uh, it, because time in the nether is kind of regardless of whatever else is happening, uh, people used to think that uh, there was a higher chance of coming out uh, of the nether at night. Not exactly true, but it did kind of make you feel that way. Because you just couldn't tell what the time was, because uh, clocks don't work in the nether. Like, at all. It's still the case. Always has been, probably always will be. Okay, there is a spider. Or two. However, they're not going to be hold on to me for long, because I am going down. Because there's, there's like some caves down there. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, some caves. Oh, I did go down here. Oh yeah, nice! Oh, way to go, me. I left something really big here. I knew I had that mark for a reason. Uh, what else did I have down here? <laughs> oh, the again. I'm not calling it re-exploring my first world for nothing. It's been so long, I've honestly forgotten a ton of what I did. Uh, let me see here. Was this going down to anything in particular, like a dungeon or something? Maybe a mine shaft? Something else? It's looking very... well, it's just cobble. Doesn't mean it has to be a dungeon when you see cobble. Although, although if you didn't place it yourself and you know that, then you know <laughs> that it has to be a dungeon. <laughs> or some other structure. Okay, so I have the mine sh a mine shaft here. Nice. I don't really use this that much. It doesn't look like I use this one too terribly much. I think I marked it for later, going eventually. I mean, I mean the flooding does actually kind of help in a way because it keeps enemies from uh, following you or or trying to pursue you upwards. Looks like I have a lot of interesting stuff around here, though. I kind of left. I think I just marked a lot of this for later. Yeah, I, I think I marked this for later. I don't think I ever actually explored this full area before. Although I did light it up pretty well. <laughs> I did light it up pretty well. I, 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 I think it was actually more because of the witch farm. Because the thing is, if you light up a lot of areas where... Make it where enemies uh, have fewer spots to spawn, then they'll spawn where they theoretically can. Like, at it, it, whatever location they have convenient. So, in that case, that would mean that I was trying to get active spawning out of that radius. So that it mainly spawn in the witch hut. I think that was it. I think I was concentrating my spawning right to there. So that was that way, that was that way. Okay, yeah, I was spawning it all in there. I think I was trying to concentrate a lot of it that way. This even isn't even that thorough of a thing there. I think I was work in progress at the time. I don't think I ever really completed that. I don't think that was something I ever really went all the way through with. No, no, no. Yeah, this is bringing up back memories another way. I'm running on melons just like I used to. Uh, <laughs> uh, talk about old habits. Uh, melon, melon, need melon? Yeah, I got melons. I got melons. I always got melons. That's <laughs> how things used to be. Gold that I never mind because I was trying to avoid damaging it on the way down. Why do I have this marked this way? I used to mark dangerous areas sometimes by sealing them off. Why did I have this marked? Oh. 
think I'm remembering now. I will want to put some there in case I need to do it again. So I think this was close to a, uh, a spawner for cave spiders. I think that's why I sealed it off. So I think it was being a very bad thing to go into. So I'm like, nope. Uh, yeah, that was it. Cave spiders, definitely. Yeah, even after all this time, that they're they're still very annoying. Uh, <laughs> some things that will never stop being annoying. Whoa, that's their main spawner. That's why I sealed it. Come on, fall. Thing about a spider's position is it's sometimes a little hard to say where it is because they have this weird jitter that makes it not just visual but also where they really don't always show up where you think they are. Oh gosh, I got my flaming arrows back. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, that 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 was that was an old school problem. Uh, yeah, cave spiders. Uh, yeah, this is why I, I sealed that area off. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel very... <laughs> uh, very good at remembering how I used to do things and how I tend to do things even now if the opportunity should arise or something similar happened. Remember I used to leave... Oh. Oh, that, that came up faster. Why do you have to submarine? Uh, okay. Okay, it's a good thing I remember how I, I tend to do things. So, it's a <laughs> classic rule, know thyself. Uh, it's always very important to do so. Always know how you work. Like, I know that I used to have more reason to seal stuff off, so I did so. And I'd always do that with an unnatural block, like like cobblestone doesn't naturally show up in the world unless it's part of a structure. So I'd seal things off with it all the time to say that there was danger in that direction. Well, cave spiders certainly qualify. <laughs> oh, and they're piling up in there. Thing is, they're too maneuverable to really farm well. I mean, I, I've got other spawners here and there that are more usable. Uh, so, yeah, and some of which have had some history in and of themselves. Just a moment. I'm back, and they're swarming zombies. They seem to like a dis hole. Cause that one's stuck in the cobweb, so bye. <laughs> in fact, I used to be very careful about disturbing cobweb because I knew that I, at the time, it was very hard to harvest. It, nowadays you can just use shears like literally like not even using silk touch just shears and you're good <laughs> so that was something in and of itself see that's my place to the, oh, okay that that's where I sealed it off um yeah <laughs> of course I could always get a lot I, I mean you you still can farm cave spiders it's just not as easy because again, maneuverable plus poison equals their problem. So let's stay away from annoying spiders for right now. Nom 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 nom. But yeah, that's that solved a few. Whoa. Okay. Uh, um. Well, that was random. Uh. I thought this area was decently lit. I've only got like one torch. Oh, there's this, like this area right here. Maybe it got flooded at some point or something. That had to have happened. Maybe it got flooded and then that allowed that to happen. Well, I can always just seal this part back off. The other thing I used to do is I'd seal off areas that I'd 
properly uh, obtained as deposits of minerals and stuff and just seal them completely back off with some cobble and ensure that nothing spawned there. It's always a good strategy. I mean, that's, that's something that you don't need to really ever give up doing is just sealing areas off with, with uh, nice, easily accessed co uh, cobblestone. Going, okay, I'm, I, I, I'm good. So I've, I've got all that stuff. I don't need anything more by. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, that, that's it kind of happened. Okay, so the, that was my that was my flood control. Okay, so I'm going to go head back to Babiaga's brewery. I'll probably head off there, and then I will uh, possibly actually like take some time to complete my old idea of getting everything connected that way. Show what it, I was originally intending, and for that matter, what I'd done, but apparently isn't saved in this version. I mean, really, where did that go? That's, that's a very good question. And why don't I have another melon over here? Was it was was I too far away for it to really manifest? I mean, it it really should have grown over there by now. Seriously. Hmm. Well, I could harvest some bread from over here for old times' sakes. And that's always something to uh, to quickly do is grab some bread. So yeah, I mean. And maybe during this time I'll, be f I'll. Eh, I mean, I, I could I could refarm some, which is the old school way. But really speaking, I I I'm just here for nostalgia. I don't think I need to really honestly. Br oh well, actually I do kind of need to brew some things, but that I can handle later after I got things connected up. Because maybe I could uh, do a wither fight before I. Before I head off, I I know that I really need to do one before I head out of this world uh, for a long time again. So that's something that I could definitely do later on in the series. I I could have another wither fight, uh, and for that I oh clicked a little too far. Uh, that uh, for that I would definitely be able to uh, brew up some good stuff, maybe some potions of strength or something. Uh, I don't have any brews here immediately. Potion of healing, <laughs> but nothing for strength. So I'd have to gather some ingredients again. So yeah, I'd, I'd have to be going old school for a while to really pull that off. But yeah, I mean this is this is a nice location. I used to do a lot of things around here. Oh, that seems to have uh, accumulated. Hmm. I can always make some more pumpkin pie, but I, I think I'm good. Okay, so uh, this is kind of what this little area was like. I had my little area here. One thing I could do is I could hang out at various sections around here waiting on, on the witches. I had myself a little area down there that I was exploring for a while that it parked off in a weird way. Uh, the thing about offset with lily pads, if you, if you put something on top of them, because they are... Uh, I, at least in this version, you could do that, where you could you could place a block on them and it floats above them because it's kind of like trying to place something on top of a slab that's not compatible with it. Like it's not the exact same slab, so it just floats up. So so hence why that marker was so distinct is it was basically just a a fence post with a <laughs> with a torch on it, and it, it made made it kind of an easy hey over here you have something important please remember me. Well, I did. Reminder worked. <laughs> so, yeah, the, that happened. Uh, so, anybody over here? Nope, nope, no guess, no guess. Oh, well, no guess. No guess for me. But, yeah, I used to... Oh, yeah, this had to have been a version where I, I, I definitely had more over here. Because I remember that I used to also have um, another cobblestone generator. Because I was doing long-term stuff. Like, I was making... Because uh, I remember how I actually did the... the the path through the nether before now. I had a cobblestone generator over here, so I was generating endless pickaxes uh, by farming trees and, and cobblestone. I smashed my way over the nether and went back all the way over that way via nether jump. That's how I did it before. I might finish that off in this exact world copy to complete the picture. Yeah, I could totally do that. Uh, I do have some buckets. I think there's some lava nearby, 
if I remember right. I kind of skipped over a lot of things when I zipped over here. Okay, now the melons are growing. Thank you, melons. Did any fall down? Nah, they're good. Okay, now one of the reasons why I did the lily path is so it made it very hard for enemies to follow me because then they'd be on this narrow pathway and I could just bonk them off into the water where I had the advantage. So, <laughs> uh, th there's all sorts of ways of doing uh, partial defenses where you can uh, be the one who has the strategic advantage in your territory and I can tell this was a creeper hole. Uh, you, you can always tell. Yeah, it's, it's old creeper scars that have never been healed. Yeah, that, that summarizes that area. Now, was there some lava this way? Because I think there was a pool, a surface pool around here. Uh, there's definitely some other things. <laughs> Classic moment to collapse that. That was always were th that was always fun. Uh, I think I originally crossed the desert in this direction. I can go back down into the depths and grab some lava that way. If I want to recreate that. I'm not going to necessarily do the whole thing this episode, but I do want to see if I can find some... S well, I can see some under the surface lava due to random x-rays. See this. This is how I used to find a lot of things. I mean, I have time to actually really th think about it and possibly even mentally calculate where the best spot is to go down. That That is how random x-rays used to work. I, that's not even using a bug to do it on purpose. That is just it happening randomly. Uh, yeah, I could have sworn there used to be a lava pool somewhere along the way. Did I drain it all the way and cover it over? Because I could have done that. I could have literally taken so much of it over time for various reasons. Not the least of which being obsidian for making uh, like more uh, nether portals. In this exact world, I didn't have all that. I mean, I got the obsidian I did get by harvesting one of the extra portals. So, yeah. Okay, so that's that way. That's why. Is this the double? Yeah, cause so sometimes because of the... There's an old bug where the exact bi uh, biome combination, like if, if, if a river ran through it or if it was considered river, uh, what would happen is it would interfere with the witch spawning because it had to absolutely be in swampland. I think that I think I was searching through a lot of them at the time, and I think that was a dead one. I think that was one that didn't count. Let me see here. This counts as dead. What biomes does this one count as? So this counts as both river and swamp. I'll know that's why I didn't build the brewery here. So I think there was a reason why I selected that exact spot. Oh, right now it's actually saying desert, which is kind of funny. Okay, swampland. Maybe it's just because it was more close to the shore. That, that looks like it's entirely swampland, so maybe it was just that I, I thought that one was more convenient at the time. Oh well. Well, I can always look for more lava anyhow, and I can always grab some from the nether, so it's like no big deal. <laughs> but I, I, I'll probably make myself a, another cobble gin between episodes. Uh make myself a ton of pickaxes, smash the entire path. I try and remember if I have enough iron in this world to make a make a nice train going through there. You know, classic uh, minecart situation. Because that makes it real fast. I think I may have had enough materials overall if I can if I can grab them from all my stockpiles. And then I'd probably be able to build enough rail system. If I wanted to do it that way, I mean that'd, that'd be cool. That, that'd be really cool to do the classic Nether train, because <laughs> that was a way things used to be uh, that used to be done more often. Is you'd use the Nether to do a Nether jump because it multiplied the distance that you moved, and you'd couple that with uh, using mine carts, which made it even faster. And you could go like cross a ton of distance in the overworld super fast, and I'm going to be able to notice any s surface lava much easier if I just get up, because I, I think I drained any of the pools that I found over time. <laughs> I think that's something that I did, is I was really after so much obsidian that I drained them all. Because, uh, quick tip, oh, I think I can see it from here. I thought there was some nearby. Either that or it's an optical illusion. It's not really glowing. I think it's an optical illusion. Yeah, it's, it's because it's doing that random x-ray thing, and it kind of looks the right color tonight. So, that's probably not surface lava. 
I mean, I could check, but... Uh, well, it might... Oh, it might be the dummy lighting issue. It might be dummy lighting, because there used to be times where if things didn't update right, the light wouldn't show correctly. By the way, at this time, zombies do, in fact, already have their seriously enhanced follow distance, so I may have to shoot some off while I'm grabbing a, a, a nice lava bucket. Water on the other hand is always easy. I mean, I literally am living over the water with this particular uh, base, so I am unbelievably covered. <laughs> it, it's, it's not like I'm doing Skyblock yet. <laughs> this, this is something that uh, I've, I've kind of got to reserve. Yep, it's dummy lighting. It's dummy lighting. That that was it. It's not updating right, so it's the dummy lighting system. See, I touched it, it updated, now it thinks it's fine. That's when you can tell it's dummy lighting fr from back in the day. That's something you should totally not miss. Because the thing is, it also counted it for real. It wasn't like just like a visual thing. Like, if you like didn't if 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 you didn't see it updated, then it wasn't really lit at all. Like like that's the thing. If if you saw it dark, then it was dark. Which meant that, that uh mobs could spawn there. That was really annoying. That the entire lighting system would refuse to fully update sometimes until you did something to clue it off. So you kinda had to force it a good portion of the time and that was just terrible. So dummy lighting over lava and hi random squid. <laughs> But yeah, dummy lighting over lava is a particularly annoying thing. I, th I think I used to also... You know, I th I'm very sure this world was reverted from another one, because uh, there is, like, almost no sugar cane along the shore. I used to do, like, big blinds. Like, what I'd do is I'd, like, create huge blinds... And this is something I still do occasionally. Create huge blinds made out of sugar cane so enemies couldn't see past them. That that was a big thing you used. Uh, this is it. It was good to do because it, funny fact, uh, skeletons and other hostiles won't see you through sugarcane. <laughs> so it's just a very interesting funny fact of they don't actually notice you. So yeah, this whole thing has been very weird to do on silent because the system doesn't fully. I, is that really? Oh my gosh. It's an actual zombie villager. Do I have... Uh, I could make a fermented spider's eye. But I don't think I have the gold. Although I do have the apples. <laughs> the question is... Do I, do I want to go for it? I mean, there's another guy right over there. Um, kind of been wanting to do that for a while. Let me check something. No. I do not have the gold. <laughs> this is sad. Uh, because if if I leave, there's like nothing going to stop it. And I have like no spare name tags here because at this time they were super rare. <laughs> uh, like you couldn't fish for them, which is something I do all the time otherwise. And like later versions, but in this version, no, not going to happen. So it, it, it's, it's like you only could get them from dungeons. And maybe from trading, but they were super expensive. So I'm sorry I have to get you off. This is where this strategy comes in handy, is I could just bonk them away and say, nope, nope, I'm... I, I have the high ground here, literally. That is a thing in combat, by the way, having the high ground, especially when you're on la uh, considered on land and they are not. Because they get slowed down by the water, you don't have to be whenever... So, so this... Pretty good illustration of why I originally did that. But with that, I think I can pretty much head off uh, and just do some things between episodes to finally get a few things done that I've been wanting to, or at least that I had done before and would like to show what I actually did with them. This reminds me, do I have more lily pads back there? Quick check. Uh, quick check. I need to check my lily pads. Lipets. Oh, I have plenty. Oh, yeah, I'd be able to build that whole that whole thing again. I, no problems. I have enough lily pads to branch off again if I if if I'd like to. So that that could totally be a thing. Uh, <laughs> rebuilding my mag my uh my uh 
nice uh, magma powered uh, cobblestone generator again would be perfectly fine. So yeah, I could totally do that. And then I could like zip along the way it was originally intended to, uh, or rather that I already did before and apparently isn't on this exact copy. I'm trying to remember why I ever lost that other world where I copied it off and branched it and then made a lot of progress there and then lost it. I'm trying to remember what happened because, again, this has been a while. So a lot of this is trying to bring back memories, but some of it I, I just really can't remember. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, I tried to remember, and I do not remember, so whatever works. Uh, yeah. Well, it, wait, is, is my armor okay after all? Yeah, it's okay, except my, my nice black leather tunic. Uh, <laughs> but I can always just make some, like, full-on iron and go that way. In fact, I might want to preserve this, 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 uh, letter and make myself a little bit of a going-away present from here. I was going to do something using like a full leather suit. I think I remember what it was. But I'm not 100% on that. I mean, I think what I was trying to do is... Oh yeah, I was going to do a celebratory uh, Reaper look. That was going to be cool. I could do that later. I could totally do that later. Probably after I beat the weather. Uh, again, for like, I don't know how many times it's been, but in this case it would be <laughs> uh, uh, second or third time. <laughs> I could probably even do it the, my traditional way of doing it, too, because I, 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 I know where my end is, so that wouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, anyhow, this has been Nostalgia Glitch Reaper here, <laughs> and I'll be uh, logging off for now. I uh, hope to hear from you all later, so bye for now, everybody.